Hey, what's going on guys? Jimmy, the general expert here on YouTube, bringing you this Makita Max 700 or MAC 700 air compressor. All right, so I bought this thing on Amazon. I will put the Amazon link down in the description below this video. A box inside of a box. Okay, let's get this. Come on. There we go. All right. First things first, some instructions. Guia rapida inicial. Oh, wait. Quick start guide, there we go. Then we have this little box. Let's see, oh, we got some uh, oil in there, compressor oil, nice. And of course, the uh, compressor. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, that guy is beautiful. Guys, I've been wanting this thing for a long time and I finally saw that it was Reduced in price on Amazon. I bought it for 200 bucks essentially. 206. And uh, wow, look at that. This is the Makita Big Bore. So this has a giant piston in there. This is an oil lubricated compressor. So I think from what I've been hearing is that lends to a quieter running compressor and it should last much, much longer. Uh-oh, guys, look what I just noticed. A whole bunch of oil in the bottom of this box. So that means possibly something isn't screwed together correctly, or they just had this laying on its side while they were shipping it. You can see we have some oil underneath that foot there, and it's coming up to, you know what, I think it's just coming out of this drain plug here. Well, not sure. All right, for the uh, quick start guide, it says that we need to remove the plastic cap that was here just for shipping. And there was also a plastic cap here that I had removed. And uh, we're going to put the air filter in, which just screws right in. Just wanna make sure you don't cross thread it like I was just doing. Okay, there we go. You know what? I wonder if I should use some, yeah, I'm gonna seal that up a little bit. Maybe I'll just put one wrap of Teflon around here. Couldn't hurt anything. There we go. All right, now I'm ready. And the cap that was here is replaced with this oil um, stick. I don't know if it's necessarily called a dipstick because we do have this sight glass down here and we're supposed to fill it up with oil up to the red dot. All right, so we got this compressor oil that it shipped with in the box. Compressor oil P68. Importante, add this oil to compressor before operating. So I have my funnel here. It's going into the oil port, and I'm just gonna watch this uh, sight glass till the oil hits that red dot, probably somewhere in the middle of that red dot. Okay, so the point here is that the amount of oil they gave you was exactly what it needed to fill the whole thing up. So I'm just uh, filling the whole thing up, and even though it is a little bit above the red dot right now. I think after it's run and the oil is kind of uh, dispersed throughout the motor, uh, it'll be perfect. So there's the pressure gauge. You have your pressure adjustment knob here. Here's your on off switch. I do have it plugged in so it's gonna start as soon as I flip that down. There's a little bit of styrofoam in there, I'll get that out, but this is the actual quick uh, connect for your hose. And you can see it is a model MAC 700, two horsepower, 2.6 gallon, 3.3 CFM at 90 PSI. Overall, the thing is just beautiful. Just a nice little compact air compressor. It's not too heavy. It's, it's definitely got some weight to it, but it's not too heavy. I like the handle system they got going on. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up and uh, the instructions say to let it run for 20 minutes and that is the break-in period and then it's ready for operational use. Now when I start this up we'll be able to hear what this thing sounds like if it's too loud or or uh, actually isn't that loud at all. Oh my gosh, that's it? I thought it was gonna be like annoying to the neighbors. That's like nothing. That's it? There's barely any sound coming out of that, guys. I hope the camera... You can see there's definitely air coming out. I hope the camera is picking up the sound level because it's very, very low. It's actually a nice low hum, low end hum. Um, also, the air valve is open, so if that wasn't open, it'd be quieter. You can see the oil level has gone down. Hopefully you can see. Uh, right to where it needs to be now that the thing is running. Break-in period is officially done. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the valve. And this thing should start building some pressure here pretty quick. See how long it takes before it uh, shuts off and at what pressure. guys about 130 psi right on the nose the needles dropping a little bit but I think I don't hear any hissing or any leaks I think that just could be the gauge itself uh, but we'll see if it holds pressure I'll come back in a little bit it looks like we're down to about 120 psi all right, well, it looks like it was just the gauge settling so far as much as I can tell. I can't hear a single sound, hiss, anything leaking anywhere. So I think what I'm going to do is let this sit overnight. And you guys will see it here. I won't touch this thing. And we'll come back uh, tomorrow and check the pressure and see where we're at. So this is now two days later. And I wanted to look at the pressure gauge. And let's see if I can get a good angle on here so you can see it. Looks like you can see it there. It's gone down, it looks like maybe to 110 from I think where it finally settled after I shut it off was 120 about. Um, I'll probably take some soap bubbles and try to see if there's a small leak around some of the fittings but I don't think it's anything really to be worried about. Um, if after two days it, it loses 10 PSI, um, I'm gonna let it sit and see how much farther it goes down but I think that this could just be like the gauge settling sort of thing. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, please comment below if you know better than that. But um, I don't hear any sort of hissing or anything like that. So um, I'm going to assume that this is normal, uh, but you know, to be determined, I guess. We're plugged in and one other interesting thing to note here is that when I go to turn this guy on, it won't kick on. So that tells me that it is satisfied with its pressure. Um, again, I think that that difference in the gauge, you know, from when I stopped it to now could just be, you know, air pressures equalizing, um, gauge settling or something like that again. I'm not sure if what I'm saying even makes sense, but that's kind of my best guess. Uh, anyways, just thought I'd show you that. All right guys, well that's it on this Makita MAC 700 or Mac 700 air compressor. I can't wait to start using this little guy. If you guys like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.